and welcome to my screening room. Yeah, this, this is my movie theater. Hmm, don't have it set up yet. Tonight's a beautiful night and I'm going to take some opportunity to watch a few movies outside. It's my favorite way to watch them. I've got a giant screen and I'm going to show you my rig I built to take care of all this stuff. All right, this is my basic rig. So right down here, that's my outlet for speakers to plug in. And then it's on wheels, so I can roll it in. This is my screen. So I've got projector, cables. Um, this is my Blu-ray player. That's the amp. Sandbags. Screen up top. There's my HD projector, so it'll do 1080p. Doesn't do as good when you're projecting from a laptop, but you'll see. I've got power in here and everything. So let me show you how I set this thing up. All right. So the key to this the key to this is um, I designed the box to uh, have a support at the very top and that is exactly set middle of where the screen uh, rests. So first things first is just take the, get the, um, the top extended. Every pole is color coded, so we've got yellow, blue, red, and orange. And that matches down here, we've got the same colors on the slots. And then each one, I've got a groove cut out of each one. So I did the grooves all by hand, so each one is slightly different, so they are color coded to match the inside of the lid also so it only fits one way but that's okay because it's exactly right height ideally I'd like to be able to power it and push a button but that's not what I got right now so let me show you how top fits on And that's all it is. So it is exactly aligned with the screen. And now I just gotta set the screen up. I've got a couple sandbags and you can watch me do that. It's that easy to set up, just snaps. Now all I gotta do is hook up the wires. My cables consist of one, which is a, this is a speak on connector and power. So my power just plugs into the wall outlet right here. And this one, plugs into my speaker switcher which is inside this box. And the speaker box is right here. So I just, these are easy. It's a half twist or a quarter twist. So now I've got my screen up. I've got, I'm watching this cloud, but I'm hoping it's gonna pass. Um, I've got my screen up. I've got my box up. I've got power going to my, the back end. So now you'll see this blue tape line you see lines up with there and that is what I use to align my box and make sure everything's perfectly aligned for the screen so here we go God I hope this 
this is not looking good. Let me go check the weather. Anyway, we'll finish this. Okay, so now it's just a basic connect up all my, uh, my plugs here. And this may shake a little bit. Which again, keep everything together. And then I got one more connection on the front, which is the speaker going from the box out. So this is the this is the speak on going out. Okay. So just need to make sure everything's powered on. And it is. So there's switches up here. But I need to hit the right one. Just to finish everything else off, I have a mat to cover all the cables, the two wires here, so nobody trips on them. There you go. Okay, so questions you may have. One, are these two little things right here my only speakers? No, they act as just the center channel. My two speakers are in these flower pots right there, and there's one on the other side. So uh, they're from Outdoor Speaker Depot. Good place, highly recommend them. They didn't pay for anything, but buy it. Um, buy from them, good guys, and their warranties are great. The sound quality is good. The, I'm gonna be building some sound deadening for the um, air conditioners right there, but that'll come soon enough. And um, the other thing you need to know is we'll just get through the equipment right quick. So the projector is an EUG. Honestly, it's a, it cost me about 400 and some odd dollars off of Amazon and it's a 1080p um, HD I think it'll do more than that but anyway uh, it does a good job but for 400 bucks for an outdoor theater you don't want to spend a lot of high-end equipment high-end money on something that has weather associated with it so that's the first piece of equipment second piece is the amp and again, it's just a pile. It's just a pile amp. Uh, I can't remember how many watts it does. But because I'm pushing a lot of speakers, I want some more wattage on it. And then I've got a Samsung Blu ray player that is Wi Fi enabled and it's all connected to my Wi Fi. So from here, I can watch YouTube, Netflix, I can play DVDs, Blu ray, CDs. And the cool thing about the switcher, which I got from, God, I can't remember where I got it from. Anyway, it normally runs my stereo in the house and I can play out here, but it has an automatic switch. So when it gets an input from the B channel, it automatically switches to the B channel. So I'll show you how that works. Okay. So now I'm playing normal radio. And then as soon as I play this, which I wonder who it is. Hmm, it looks like it could be me. Hmm. See? Me, 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 me. <laughs> yes, I love this stuff. All right, so when you get, when you want to put something like this together for your backyard, what you're looking for, and like, maybe watch Star Wars on tonight. Hmm. I've seen a whole bunch of times. Anyway, what you want to look for in the projector is get something that has oh, the most lumens possible. This one has like 4,500 lumens. And so you can see, I can actually watch it now and I can still see blue sky. So that's what you want. If you get the little cheap, the cheaper ones you get aren't as bright. Um, and you have to wait till it gets really dark before you can start watching. I can start watching movies at dusk which actually helps a lot. If you're gonna have neighbors coming over for your movies, you want to be able to watch the movies early. I do a lot with, um, do a lot of Disney movies, do a lot of Pixar movies with the neighborhood kids and my kids come out, are here. And the earlier I can start them, the better because the kids, you know, wear out and you can't really start a movie at nine o'clock with little kids. 
So that's what I do. All right, so it's important to understand if you want to get the best use out of this stuff to make sure you can set it up and take it down in about 10 minutes. And if you can do that, then, and that's I tell you, normally without filming, I can set this thing up in 15 minutes and I can take it down in 10. And it's in the box and in the garage. And uh, I do have a plans to put a front case on it so it's dust sealed. But anyway, um, so make sure you can do that. If you do an outdoor theater and it's gonna and you keep all the equipment separate and you gotta go fish out your Blu-ray player from the house and bring it downstairs and put it outside, take your projector and reuse it. You're gonna have a problem. But if you if you keep it all together and buy it as and, and put it together as a kit, you're gonna enjoy it much more. I watch movies out here generally about weekly, if not a couple times a week. Depends on the weather and what else is going on. Because I can t set it up and take it down, and it's so much better out here. A little investment, a little bit of time, and um, yeah, you're good to go. So that's it for me, and uh, enjoy me and me. Peace.